Okay, let's go to Radigo's hideout. Zero, F1, F2, no, F1, F2, follow me. See a guy to the left there and I see this one. Let's get around this way. Zero, F1, F3. Follow me. Die, you uh. bastards! F1, F3, have them charge. Run while you can! <laughs> Follow me to keep them from just charging. They caught up. Let's have them cross, I think, the guys on the other side. I see one to the left there. And there's another one across. Let's let him run up so the other guy's further away. And charge. Um, follow me. Let's cross first over here. There's two, two of them there. See if we could trigger one. Die, dog. And charge. So we should be fighting him first. I'll eat your liver. Die, dog. Have them follow me. Oh, okay. See, Radagos has just one guy with him. We should be able to defeat that. It looks like all our so, people survived. who's this that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them off to a slave market, I know, though. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I'll force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have any need to duel him here. I think we'll attack. None lost. We've been blessed. We the bastard. Well. I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm gonna be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You'd better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll swing from a tree. 
Ah, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. I come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Tactios mentioned to me. That had something to do with Noretzi's folly. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactaeus was talking about. Tactaeus. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. All right then, let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed. You'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Tacteo said it could be worth a fortune to the right person if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from uh, a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. I'm gonna say Fen Eden. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. I must have started the game from like a noble level. All right, well. I'll take a rose. Tutorial over, you are now free to explore Calradia. On the second day of summer 1084, you found the artifact which Tacteos mentioned. I'm alone. A leadership. All troops in the party and better troops when recruiting from the same culture. Um, this one gives a little more experience, but to only lower tier and once in the garrison, which I won't have garrison until later in the game. So I'll take the, this one. Where it goes to all troops, and I improve my troop tier from the same culture. Okay, so my goals here are to investigate Naretz's folly by talking to 10 nobles and 
uh, to establish my plan, my clan by increasing my dinars to 2,000, grow my party to 20 men, increase my renown to 50 to reach clan tier one, and hire one companion that will satisfy establishing my clan. All right, we'll pick up uh, from the regular game in the next episode. Thank you for wa watching.